Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound bad and distorted. So first of all, let's play the normal audio. Let's add a little bit of distortion to this track. Um, and so the first thing you can do is a very simple one. You can just amplify your audio and this will naturally introduce a lot of audio clipping which will make your audio sound very distorted. Let's add a little bit of distortion to this track. Another way you can go about it is if you go to Effects, Special, and there's this effect called Distortion. By default, it will look like this. And if you tweak the settings right here, it will make your audio sound distorted. Let's add a little bit of distortion to this track. Let's add a little bit of distortion to this track. Right, and you can play around. Um, you can also go to the presets right here, uh, and there's quite a few good ones. Uh, in my opinion, the most extreme one is the infinite distortion. So tune your volume down a bit because it is going to be really harsh. Let's add a little bit of distortion to this track. Yeah. Um, another way you can go about it is if you want to make your audio sound muffled, or let's say thin, you can play around with the equalizer. In this case, we're cutting off the high end frequency. So this will make you sound as if you were speaking from under a pillow. And you can tweak the settings right here. The lower you go, the more you will cut off and the more muffled it will sound. Let's add a little bit of distortion to this track. Let's add a little. Um, and finally, the last thing you can do, obviously there's probably more things you could do, but uh, one of the ways I would go about it is saving your audio in low, lower quality. So right here, if you look at the sample type, and go to change, you can adjust your sample rate. With the sample rate, if you were to choose it lower, you would achieve a similar audio quality as if uh, you were using equalizer, so it would sound muffled. Uh, but with the bit depth, you could choose 8 bits bit depth, and this will introduce a lot of the hissing, as you can see looking at this, at this spectrogram. Let's add a little bit of distortion to this track. Let's add a little bit of distortion to this track. And that's it. Obviously, you can combine these different methods to make the ultimate distorted bad audio quality. But that's uh, the few methods you can use to achieve your desired audio.